Do you have a plan on scoring well in today's episode? Hey gang, I'm your host, Brian Rollins, and this is episode 146 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. This week, we're visiting the 12 colonies for 30 trivia questions all about the Battlestar Galactica reboot that premiered in 2004. If you need rules or scorecards, visit the show's website at dorkygeekynerdy.com. While you're there, you can also browse the show's store. That's right, you can now get Dorky Geeky Nerdy merchandise. Right now, there's t-shirts, mouse pads, mugs, and more. I'll be adding more to the store as time allows, but if you've got a trivia fan in your life, and the holidays are coming up, so take a look. That's more than the usual preamble, so let's get going. The Dorky Round Number 1. Who played Starbuck in the series? Katie Sackhoff. Number two, what original series actor had a guest starring role on the reboot? Richard Hatch. Number three, what is Apollo's real name? Lee Adama. Number four. The colonial capital was located on what planet? Caprica. Number five. In addition to Vipers, what multi purpose ships are assigned to Galactica? Raptors. Number six, who was the executive officer or XO for the Galactica? Saul Tai. Number seven, Laura Roslin was written specifically for what actress? Mary McDonnell. While other actresses were considered for the role, the producers wanted her first and foremost. Number 8. In the middle of Season 2, the Galactica is joined by what other Battlestar? The Pegasus. Number 9. Producers were initially hesitant about casting what model as Cylon 6? Trisha Helfer. Number 10. The 12 colonies are named after what astrological concept? The Twelve Signs of the Zodiac from Greek Myth. The Geeky Round. Number one. What is the name of Apollo's deceased brother? Zach Adama. Number two. In season two, the colonial anthem makes an appearance. What was that piece originally composed for? It's the original Battlestar Galactica's theme. Number three. What Deep Space Nine producer was the showrunner for the new Battlestar Galactica?
Ronald D. Moore. Number four, what bridge officer was executed along with Tom Zarek? Felix Gaeta. Number five, while most of the fleet used Mark VII Vipers, Galactica had what class of fighter? Mark II Vipers. Number six, the Viper pilot Hot Dog was played by the son of what other Galactica actor? Edward James Olmos's son, Bodie, played Hot Dog. Number seven. What character was never intended to come back after being left on Caprica in the pilot? Hilo. Audiences liked the character so much he was brought back for the series. Number eight. Which Cylon was never seen on screen? Daniel, or number seven. The writers realized they had miscounted and added the concept of boxing to compensate for his absence. Number nine. Who was the original commander of the Pegasus? Admiral Kane. Number 10. What was the title of the three-part series finale? Daybreak. The Nerdy Round. Number 1. What is the registry number of the Galactica? BSG-75 Number 2. Who composed the music for the series? Bear McCreary Number 3. What is the official name for the colonies? The United Colonies of Cobol. Number four. Prior to the Galactica, Adama was the commander of what battle star? The Valkyrie. Number five. What was William Adama's call sign while he was a pilot? Husker. Number six. At the end of the first regular episode, 33, what was the name of the ship Apollo was ordered to destroy? The Olympic Carrier. Number seven, what international organization held a special symposium to discuss the themes of the series? The United Nations. Cast and crew were invited to discuss race, gender, sexuality, religion, and terrorism on the show. Number eight. The set for the Battlestar Pegasus was recycled from what failed 2004 series?
The Robinsons Lost in Space. Number 9. The original and the reboot both feature an episode with what title? The Hand of God. Number 10. Though she didn't know it at the time, Katie Sackhoff was fighting what disease throughout the final season of the show? Thyroid cancer. She's been in remission since 2009. And that's the last question. So say we all. We'll be back again next week with 30 more trivia questions. Here's a clue for what to expect. What genre of movie and book is heavily derived from ancient myth and legend? Confused? Don't worry. All will be revealed next Wednesday. Join us back here, okay? This has been episode 146 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. The music has been by Jason Shaw at audionautics.com. I'm your host, Brian Rollins. You can find me at thevoicesinmyhead.com. Thanks for listening.